Hey everyone and welcome to a video I know many of you have been waiting for for a long time. It's a video I've been meaning to make for a long time. I am finally doing another Apron Girl redo. I never officially titled this artwork, but when I don't title something, I start referring to it as something random. So this girl's wearing an apron, so I started referring to it as Apron Girl, and now that's kind of just the name, even though it's a horrible name. So back in 2010, I drew this image. This was the original Apron Girl. When I look back at this, I cringe so hard. Oh my God, the face for one. The face is the most messed up part about this. It's just a weird shape. Her face is creepy. Her hair is long and stringy and pointy in a bad way. It's just all around bad. I remember seeing an apron in some manga. I don't remember which one it was, but I was like, I wanna draw a frilly apron, apron with lots of folds and all that stuff. And so that's what originally inspired this. And so the apron I was all proud of at the time. Like, yeah, it looks so good. And I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but not my favorite either. Also, them hands, they are long and strong. <laughs> <laughs> but hands have never been my strong suit. Then it was at least a year later that I drew this one. The changes definitely improved it, but I didn't actually change all that much. The body looks pretty much identical. The face is the main thing that's different, and then the color scheme. The new color scheme definitely looks better, and I made the checkered background a little more interesting by adding some hearts. Ooh. So new, so different, oh my. I did have YouTube videos for these way back in the day on my Zed Kitty Zed channel, but those videos are long gone. But it's been over six years since I drew the last one, so I thought it would be fun to draw an apron girl again and see how much I've improved. So the first major difference is my drawing style. In the past, I drew a lot of anime, and over time, I slowly drifted away from it. It wasn't intentional. I didn't decide, oh, I don't want to draw anime anymore. It's just, I guess my preference evolved over time. And this specific style that I'm using in this drawing is very recent for me. I mean, there are elements of it that are how I've always drawn, but when I was coming up with a video idea for a couple weeks back, well, I guess it's like one week ago, it was last week's videos, because I did the live stream, it feels like I've done two videos. <laughs> but yeah, my last video with the pink haired girl with the dog, I was trying to think of a specific style because, you know, like most artists, I've always been conflicted about my style and you don't really need to find a style, but it's something that was bugged me because I felt like everything I drew looked like a different style. Some stuff I did was more cartoony, some was more semi-realistic, and I really wanted to nail down something that I could use consistently. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm only gonna draw this way ever again, because I'm sure the style will continue to evolve over time, but also I might just choose to draw something more semi-realistic someday, but for now, I'm loving this cartoony style. I've never been this pleased with my art style ever before. It's a very cartoony style and the characters' proportions are very doll-like and I'm, I'm just loving it. I don't think I've ever been this happy with my art before. Not that the concepts are super amazing, but just the style. I feel like I finally locked down something that I really like. And it's not just the drawing style that's different with Apron Girl 3.0, I also have a different coloring style. But my coloring style does shift because sometimes I like to do softer shading, other times I like to go with more contrast and do deeper shadows, brighter highlights. And for this one, it's definitely one of the more contrasty styles of coloring I do. Again, referring to that last one with the girl with the pink hair and the dog, that was a very soft coloring style. This is my opposite coloring style, the more shadowy kind. The first Apron Girl had hardly any shading. The second one had a little more, but this one definitely has a lot more than both of those. The other major difference is the pose. When I first redrew that picture, I felt like the face and hair were the main issues with it. And so that's really the only thing I fixed. But this time around, I wanted to completely reinvent the drawing. I wanted to make a more interesting pose because what the heck is this? Like, who does that? Also, I wanted to give her some kind of props because, okay, she's wearing an apron, but is she in her kitchen? Is she a waitress? Who is she? 
I decided she's a waitress, so she has her tray of drinks, she has pockets in her apron for a pen and pad of paper, and so it makes it clear, okay, she's a waitress. I also added in an actual background. It's still pretty simple because I didn't want something super distracting like an entire restaurant behind her. Instead, I decided to just add the kitchen door, so it's like she's walking past the kitchen doors and you can see them behind her. But I made sure to include some of that checkered pattern because I couldn't completely neglect it, so the floor is checkered. I decided to stick somewhat to the color scheme of 2.0 and give her some blue and pink, but then I used the blonde hair from the first Apron Girl. I felt like in terms of a color scheme, it was the best of both worlds. This new Apron Girl drawing also has a lot more movement to it. I wanted something less static. I want her to be in movement, hair flowing, skirt up in the air, that sort of thing. So it's just, I made her walking. I don't know, just came up with something a little more interesting than, hey. <laughs> I also changed up the design of her outfit and apron just to make something a little more interesting. I kept the ruffles because I love ruffles. I had to include some of those, especially the shoulder ones. I love that look on aprons but that's not really part of the apron on this one. It's more like that's just part of her dress. Really the apron is just around her thighs, but the rest of it kind of goes with it. In my mind, I was trying to think of something that would maybe be seen in a maid cafe or something. If you're thinking of doing the draw this again meme and redrawing something you already drew, don't feel like you need to stick to the same pose, the same color palettes. You can change it up if you want. You still want it to be recognizable as a recreation of the original, but Feel free to change up the details because not only has just your drawing ability changed, but your knowledge about posing and composition, all of that has changed over time. So change that stuff too. If you're just showing some random old art and some unrelated new art, then it doesn't really matter. It's just, they're two completely different things. But if you are redrawing the same picture, don't feel like it has to be too similar to the original. But yeah, here is my final apron girl. I think it's a pretty big improvement. I don't know if it's six years worth of improvement, but I'm happy with it. And like I said, I'm just so happy with where my style is at right now. I just, I feel like half of my art crisis has been left in the past and I'm just more confident about it and I just feel good about where my art is going. Finally, finally. But yeah, let's get one last side by side with number one, number two, Number three, woo. Maybe I'll do a number four someday. I don't know. If I do, it's probably not gonna be for like 10 years, but you know. Also, if you would like to have some merch featuring this artwork on it, I have it uploaded to my Redbubble shop. There's a link down below always. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week in my next video.